News from around the region and from around the state. This is a Florida Focus News. Hello and welcome to Florida Focus. I'm Jailene Montero. Right now, a Pasco County man is in custody after a carjacking and a shooting in Wesley Chapel. It happened last night at a McDonald's and led to an overnight crime spree. Lewis Toll was charged with shooting a man in the leg while stealing a car. Sheriff Chris Nako said he stole two more cars overnight. Authorities arrested him this morning in Dade City. Several shops in Sarasota County are in trouble with the law today after they were cited for selling vaping products to minors. Undercover detectives visited 29 stores and cited eight of them for violating the law. It's illegal to sell vaping products to anyone under 18. This comes one day after Florida Attorney General announced she's investigating two dozen vaping businesses. New legislation would prohibit community associations from banning law enforcement vehicles in neighborhoods. This comes after a Clearwater police officer was stopped from parking her cruiser in her own driveway. The Florida Sheriff's Association says HOAs are stopping law enforcement from doing their jobs. Right now, some homeowner associations consider the cruisers to be commercial vehicle and prohibit officers from parking them at their homes. You can count on the Cross Bay Ferry to get you to Lightning Home Games. Officials announced this morning that the ferry will be reopening on November 1st. It will run Wednesday through Sunday and on all game days. The ferry carried about 38,000 passengers in its first year and reached 53,000 last year. Organizers expect up to 60,000 passengers this year. Tickets went on sale this morning at thecrossbayferry.com. The Hillsborough County Fair kicks off tonight with Dollar Day. You can ride the rides and play the games for only a dollar each. The fair boasts one of the largest livestock shows in the southeast. You can join in all down-home fun and food this weekend or next weekend. That's all that we have for Florida Focus. Thank you for watching.